Okay, looks like we are live, and I uh, got a uh, recorder full on my Video Pro, so the card is full, so it won't be recording this, but no big deal. That's just a backup plan. So um, I got to turn on my lights. I forgot to turn on my lights, and let's see here. Okay, there we go. Got a little background lighting going on now. And, um, okay, everything else looks copacetic. Of course, I got a phone call, you know, five minutes before broadcast time, typical. Um, so let me just make sure I'm going to get the iPad going here so I can keep an eye out on comments. <clears throat> And this is pretty much an emergency broadcast because I had some some stupid comments that I need to deal with and some grinders out there that I need to deal with. Um, so we're going to deal with them. In the meantime, let's take a look at a spring drive stunner. There's a spring drive stunner marching along. And trying to find my broadcast here to see if I'm actually live. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, let's take a look Whoops. at a spring drive. Got to stop that. Okay. There we go. What's up, Craig? Says Brian. Tom says hi. Ray says hello. Craig, should I sell my Rolex Grand Date? Hmm. It's a grand date. Let's get a side view there. Look at that signed crown. How amazing is that? Okay, so um, not sure what a grand date is, but we'll have to figure that out. How's the weather in Maryland? It's, it's got a little bit chilly today. Not too bad. Um, hello, guys. Um, are you going to church? That looks like you're dressed for it. No, not today. Um... Jen's Martyr. Now, I'm actually just dressed for going out and getting money. That's what I do. I go out and I get money. By the way, I was digging around in some papers and I found this old Rolex date chest book from one of the date chests that I bought many years ago. Maybe one of you guys knows the date when this book was made. I don't know how much they changed them over the years. So there's some date just models. Pretty cool. It's in really good condition. So there's that. Um, okay, let's see here what else I'm planning on doing here. And we're going to get into the discussion here in a moment. Okay. So here's the deal. Get a little little sip of this H2O. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so here's the deal. Uh, the date's just right. I don't know what that means either. Okay. I have information that the sport Rolex, I call them sport. Some people call professional models like the Submariner, the GMT Master, and speaking of sporting, here's my dress stunner, 18 karat gold dress stunner. Um, so here's the deal. I got some information. An AD that's not a Rolex AD, but he has Omega and a bunch of other models. You probably know who I'm talking about. He's also a Grand Seiko AD. I'm not going to name his name, but this is this is inside information that I'm sharing with you guys. So he took in on trade a 2017 Submariner, uh, no date. And he took it in on trade on a Grand Seiko. So, um, oh, Clive, let me know if you want to come in. Let me know in the chat if you want to come in. I'll send you a link. Um, so anyway, he took this 2017 uh, no date 
sub and on trade full kit box papers and um, he sold it he sold it he had about a week or so he sold it for seven thousand USD seven thousand USD now this is a dealer this is a guy that knows watches this guy has a big following and he doesn't typically give watches away so seven thousand dollars what do you think about that those of you that paid list and think you're gonna get over list for watches like that by my math that's under list um, so Clive taking a break at the office so so you can't come in anyway let me know Clive if you can come in and I'll send you a link if you want to come in um, so there you go Steve <laughs> okay so um, and I've heard some other reports, similar reports from other sources. So here's the deal, folks. If you all bought multiple sport watches on spec, speculating that the price is going to go up, um, you might want to cut your losses and get the heck out of those watches. Get out of them while the getting is good. Here's a Grand Seiko spring drive for you. Look at that puppy, smoothing right along. That's the kind of watch you buy if you just want to buy a watch to wear and actually use. That's right. I still get people commenting on some of my videos on Grand Seikos. Well, but they don't hold their value. They don't hold their value. I said, listen, if you worry about the value of your watch, you shouldn't have bought the watch. That means you cannot afford the watch. Don't buy the watch. Do not pass go. Do not buy the watch. That's why you're broke. That's why these people are broke. They're spending a lot of money for a watch when they can't afford it. Um, if somebody puts in the comment, they don't hold their value, that tells me right there that they know nothing about finance. They know nothing about money if they're worried about the value of their watch. They put their money in the wrong place, if you ask me. So, especially those who bought a whole bunch of watches that they can't afford. Yes, I am predicting a Rolex recession. Yes, the market is going to deflate. Uh, there are too many people that have been buying too many watches that they can't afford on spec and they're all going to start dumping them. There's the uh, Grand Seiko spring drive again. Look at that puppy just smoothing right along, just smoothing right along. There's the side view. Look at the shape of that case. Look at that signed crown. And yes, the color balance is off a little bit on the camera. I'm not bothering to reset my color balance every time the light changes around here. If I did that, I'd be changing it every five minutes. So anyway, 99% um, of cars depreciate fast. So do many brands of watches. That's correct. And if you're buying a car, good, good point, Scott. If you're buying a car and you're worried about whether or not it's going to hold its value or not, same thing. You can't afford that car. You shouldn't be buying that car. If you're worried about the value of your car, that tells me you can't afford that automobile. You shouldn't be buying it. It should just be an expense that you figure that money is gone, out the window, gone. Just like clothing, just like furniture, most of the things you buy, that, that money's just gone. It is not an investment. An investment is where you put money somewhere and you expect to make money. You expect to get a return. That's what, that's what you call an investment. And these people that expect to make money on their watch collection, collection, right? I mean, give me a break. Um, they're not going to make money on that watch collection. They are not investments. That's why they're going to stay broke. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I'd suggest people who want an affordable Grand Seiko get one sooner than later. GS already said they want to move to the 7 to 10K price range, which means affordable ones may be soon gone. 
Eh, well, I don't know. There's always going to be a used market. You can buy them used. Um, 75% of Americans don't know about money. They're called liberals. I think it's, I think it's more like 80%, and it's a lot of the conservatives, too. The latest stat I heard was that 80% of Americans have less than $10,000 to their name. So in other words, if you took all their assets and you subtracted their liabilities, they have less than $10,000 to their name. That's 80% of Americans. Okay? Well over half are broke, are flat broke, have no net worth at all. Um, okay. So... You have been following Mr. Boring from Just Bluefish. Um, I watched his videos. He does a good job. Um, Watchbox is live now. T time to bail on this channel. There you go. Absolutely go watch the Watchbox. Um, Craig, what's the update on the 40 mil day date? You still going for it? I doubt it, Durr. I, I doubt it. I don't think I can give up the accuracy of the um, GS and the, and the quality of the GS and the overall. This thing is just fantastic. I, I really enjoy it. So I don't think the day date would work for me. I, I think it would be too bulky on wrist for going underneath a lot of my shirt cuffs. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go the day-day route. I don't think I can go back to Rolex after having these Grand Seikos. I mean, look, look at that watch. I mean, how can you possibly go back to Rolex after having something like that? And that watch is within a couple seconds, you know, three or four months in here. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, no, I don't think I'll be getting the uh, 40 mil day date. Um, guy's the man. Yeah, guy's good. Uh, guy is, is boring. No, he's not boring. Come on. He's a good guy. The Submariner no date is not a hot watch. The, these are available within three to six months. The prices, pieces... The prizes pieces remain hot, whatever that means. Uh, okay, Steve, I wouldn't bet. Uh, I wouldn't bet the farm on it. I wouldn't bet the farm on it. Um, hey, there was Durr making a stupid comment. Um, let's see. What do you think if Tudor released a new Submariner similar to Five Villages? I would pass on any tutors, yes, yes, absolutely pass on the tutors. There's no reason to consider buying a tutor. I think people don't understand the difference between investment and a speculation. Buying a steel Rolex and expecting it to consistently go up in value is the definition of speculation. I think it's the definition of not knowing what to do with your money, period. Well, over 75% of composers from the 17th century were <laughs> okay um clive in the house just because some bipolar <laughs> in in begging aussie puts out a video saying ad's are getting steel stunners some have lost their heads still i guess it makes good clickbait um well i don't know i mean go ahead and buy a whole bunch of steel Rolexes and see how that works out for you. <laughs> oh, boy, some people are absolutely clueless. Uh, Craig, keep your GS the time accuracy better. Anything I know besides the atomic clock, good point. And it's not just the accuracy. It's just a really well-made watch and just super comfortable on wrist. I mean, it just checks all the boxes. My, my diver, my stunner, my stunner diver is super, super comfortable on wrist. Um, 36 mil date just 116234 silver dial stick markers for Louis bezel and Jubilee bezel sell or keep well if it's your wear everyday wear watch keep it see I'm all about buying watches to wear and use N collecting watches are you kidding me 
Don't people have better things to do with their time and their money than to collect watches? Buy a couple of watches that you're going to wear on a regular basis and enjoy, and then focus on other things. Uh, there are a lot of other things that you can do um, other than just watches, I, I would think. I don't get it. I don't get it. Let's see here. Do you own a steel Rolex to know that it's not a great investment? Not right now I don't. I don't own any steel Rolexes. No. I've had many over the years, and none of them were good investments. No, they're never a good investment. Watches are not good investments. Read my lips. Watches are not investments, good, bad, or otherwise. They're just not an investment. They're an expense. They're, they're you know, they're a consumable. Um, did you hear Rolex buying Patek? Oh, is that actually confirmed? Uh, if Tudor released your perfect watch, would you say pass on? Yeah, no, I wouldn't buy a Tudor. Of course I'd pass on a Tudor. That's a ridiculous question. They've gone up. I, I'm wearing a Grand Seiko. Why would I go downhill and go down to a Tudor? <laughs> I'm going to go from a Grand Seiko like this, this 18 karat gold stunner, or this stunning diver. I'm going to go from one of those to a, to a Tudor? Are you absolutely nuts? Man. Um, let's see. What's up, guys? Rocking my Sen 104 today and ordered a Seamaster earlier today. Will be my way next Saturday. There you go. Newsflash, I've sold the Tudor. Thinking about Rolex Explorer as my one watch. There you go. That's a good move. Howdy, Craig. Rolex prices are deflating. I think so. I think it's time to get out. Sell, sell, sell. I was going to put sell on there three times on the thumbnail, but I decided to just put one big sell. Um, Rolex isn't an investment. It's just a nice touch of value retention. Turkey Vulture, if you have to worry about your watch retaining value, you should not have bought it in the first place. It tells me that you cannot afford that watch. You shouldn't have bought it. Because any value retention is going to be a lot less than, than what you would have earned if you'd have taken that money and invested it properly. Just because the watch might hold its value somewhat, you're not making any money with that money. Okay, you should be getting a return on investment. Invest wisely and you will not stay broke. That's my advice. Buy watches and think about whether or not they're going to hold their value and you're going to stay broke the rest of your life, just like most Americans. Um, they're depreciating asset. That's correct. Um, let's see. You're making no sense, Don. Come back when you come up with a decent argument. <laughs> um, they're all, you mean they are all depreciating assets? Watches are trinkets, really cool trinkets. There you go. That's more like it. They're an accessory. That they're an accessory to your wardrobe. It's what they've always been. You buy a nice suit, you buy a nice tie, you buy a nice shirt, you buy a nice watch. Right? I mean, that's, you buy nice shoes. That's the way it works. Um, sell. Your Rolex is now bubble is popping. I would get out of them. I would get out of any extra watches you don't need. I'd keep your daily wear watch. And sell the rest. The only watches I buy are keepers. My wife makes a very good living selling Hermes handbags and purses. And you think the Rolex world is nuts. Um, what are all the secondhand watch shops like CRM going to do when the price dives? They'll be... <laughs> they could have some problems on their hand. Uh, here's their... Did you hear that Tudor is buying Grand Seiko? <laughs> oh, boy. Dirk can come up with some stupid comments, can you? Craig, what do you think about the new Tudor Submariner? <laughs> That's great. The watch lounge, I, I goth SMPC, non-wave blue dial. 
I'm not worried about it. Just brought it up. Okay, Craig, did you see the Watch Pro article? It mentions prices are falling for Rolex. No, I didn't see that. I never said I was in this economics list. I don't know what that is. What do you think about the Yachtmaster Rolls Gold 40 millimeter oyster strap? I think the 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 older Yachtmaster. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. The the 40 mil, yeah, I, I, is okay. I, I've seen some Yachtmasters that look okay. I, I probably wouldn't buy that. I'd rather just buy a day date and yellow gold. Um, I wouldn't buy a rose gold watch myself. But Craig, that sounds pretty snobby if that tutor released your perfect watch you wouldn't buy it tom 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 tutors we don't buy tutors we've never bought tutors we're not going to start buying tutors now i've been in, you know wearing rolexes for 40 years now i'm wearing grand seikos i'm certainly not going to go backwards and buy a tutor are you absolutely nuts <laughs> i'm gonna buy a tutor when I've got that, and I've got this, I'm going to buy a tutor? Are you serious? <laughs> That's funny. You guys are funny. I, I like doing a live stream with you guys on a Friday afternoon. Uh, you guys are funny. Um, Craig, that sounds right. Okay. Is that, a, is that blue thing on your sport coat? A name tag. Yes, this is a. This has the Frederick County seal on it, and it says Frederick.com, and it says Media, and then it has the Facebook URL on there. So, if you, in case you can't read it, um, it says Frederick.com, which is my website, and it says Media. So that's what it says. Okay, um, what do you think about Dave Ramsey's argument? that something on four year four four wheels shouldn't cost more than half your end. absolutely he's correct yeah you shouldn't buy things that are going down in value with a lot of your money you shouldn't tie up your money in and things that go down in value for example a watch collection i mean it's just ludicrous get real investments um dave ramsey is a moron too says mr robert he's probably broke um Watches are the only jewelry men can get away with. There you go. Keep the Tudor comments coming. Tudor is a POS. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Thank you for your comment. Okay. So you're saying just Rolex will go down in price or all brands. I, I'm saying that this, this paying over list for steel R Rolexes is ridiculous and that people are going to get burned that have especially that have bought a number of them for over list price. If you're paying list or under list, you, you know, you, you got a watch and you're going to wear it and you're going to use it. You're going to enjoy it. You're not going to make money on the watch. It's hard to sell them even right now. People are having trouble selling any of them, including the Pepsis. They're not moving the way they were. Even the most popular models are not moving the way they were. The market is tightening up. And by the way, it's not that easy to sell these watches. You got to consign it to somebody that'll sell it for you, or you got to sell it somewhere, you know, like eBay or whatever, and you're going to pay a commission. I mean, it's not easy to move these watches. They're not that liquid. You can't just go down to the corner pawn shop and get list price for a Rolex. The guy's going to laugh at you. They're not liquid, okay? Um, <clears throat> why is the bubble pop? Why is the bubble popping? Is Rolex going to provide their ADs? With a healthy end of it. No, it's, it's, it's popping because probably the speculators have bought all the watches they can and uh, they're, they're slowing down on their purchasing. Um, you know, there's a saturation point you reach when you have a bubble like this. Uh, even Seiko Passage are better watch than the Tudor. <laughs> there you go. Craig, I just tried out the, a new slew of double edge razor blades. Feather blades are amazing, made in Japan. They slice like samurai. So I might try some feathers. I haven't tried them yet. I shaved today with one of my blades, and it's, I've shaved with it like four, four or five times. i got to change the blade. I don't think I can get by with more than three shaves. Uh, uh, 
the with these blades um they start getting dull seriously craig that gs driver is a hockey puck on your wrist i think it looks great i think it looks great um it's very comfortable Tudor isn't the same. It, it, Tudor isn't in the same league as GS. That's a joke. There you go. Um, Clark Howard is cooler. Um, what are your thoughts on the direction Mont Blanc is going? I like the CEO reminds me. Yeah, I'd pass on Mont Blanc. There's no reason to consider those. Get a buffer account, and when that's done, invest. But no way in watches. How many? Here, do even have a thousand dollars U.S. in the bank? I agree with Craig on those matters. Have a nice evening. Well, there you go. Um, I'm waiting for Tudor to release a new Submariner. We'll buy instantly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I saw a video the other day, and Dave Ramsey said his watch collection consists of four Tudors and two AP Royal Oaks. Oh my gosh! <laughs> What a disaster. Um, what a disaster. Oh, by the way, a buddy of mine, on another subject, um, a buddy of mine bought a heart shafter and Mark suit, and brand new, and um, man, it's not that great. The quality on those has really gone downhill. Um, so watch it. If you're buying a, a high-end suit, I think the only ones that might still be mostly handmade in these United States of America are Oxford. This this jacket's Oxford. Um, O-X-X-F-O-R-D. They might be the only ones actually still hand-making suits and sport coats and all in these United States. I think they still do. I went to their website, and it looks like they still do. I'm not so sure about Hart Schaffner and Marx, because this suit I just saw, it was really questionable. Really questionable quality. Um, it didn't say where it was made. I couldn't find a, uh, you know, the name of where it was made in it. But it, the quality just didn't seem like what I've seen from. I've got several Hart Shafter Mark suits that are really nice from years ago. They used to really make a nice suit. So watch it, guys. A lot of this stuff is going downhill. A lot of the name brands that that you thought were really good not so much anymore so watch it um let's see um selling on ebay was easy and profitable many years ago not anymore it's still easy to sell but you pay a nice they get a nice cut you should have at least one year of living expenses saved in case you lose your job. If you don't have, don't buy an expensive one. Well, you know, and Dave Ramsey says three to six months, but I do like to have a, a nice heavy cushion like that and, and cash available, uh, absolutely. Um, and the thing is, most Americans... I mean, it's in the news now, right, with this, this government shutdown. You know, you've got federal workers that, you know, they have a decent salary and they have a decent um, uh, benefits package and all that. Why haven't they saved any money? Why are they living paycheck to paycheck? This is insane. They get laid off for 30 days or whatever, and all of a sudden they're panicking that they can't pay their mortgage, they can't pay this, they can't pay this, they can't pay their light bill, they can't eat have these people never heard of the concept of saving money and having money set aside for a rainy day? That's what the media should be talking about. They should be saying, listen, folks, you've only been out of work a month and you don't have a month's worth of cushion in your savings account. You should rethink the way you're living. But no, the media is not going to say that. Oh, no, 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 no. They're not going to say that. Um, Craig, are you amassing an anti-Tudor army on you now? That people know that Tudors are not the way to go. Uh, just had a scratch on the pre-ceramic Rolex bezel insert. That's okay. That won't hurt anything. Unless you're in Sweden, 
where you get 80% of your monthly salary and unemployment benefits for about 12 months. Well, there you go. Brooks Brothers makes in the U.S. I think not all. I think some they're not making in the U.S. now. You better watch it with Brooks Brothers. They have different lines, different levels of quality and all. And so I don't know that they're all made in the USA. You really got to look this stuff over. Can't take it for granted. For example, years ago, Ralph Lauren used to make some really good stuff. Of course, they had companies make it for them, right? Not so much anymore. Um, only get my suits made in Savile Row. Well, there you go. Savile Row. Yeah, I think Oxford, you're, you're okay also. Uh, unfortunately, the regular Seiko range is one of those brands that is going down here. Yeah, I would skip, skip, skip them. I would skip the regular Seiko range. Just buy the Grand Seiko. You can buy some really affordably on um, eBay if you're, if, if you're budget constrained. You can find them for around 1000 um, bucks. Should we? And if you're not making 1000 bucks a week, okay, so then you shouldn't buy a $1,000 watch either. You should spend no more than a week's salary on a watch. And if you're not making $1,000 a week in today's day and age, then you better rethink your career because anybody should be making at least a thousand dollars a week that should be like minimum you should be making um let's see should we stand up when you raise your class yeah ebay return policy is enough of a deterrent to keep me from selling on that platform i've sold um a couple of watches on there and haven't had any problem um the watch lounge the stuff's going downhill because all the good companies in china are leaving in mass exodus right now um i don't know what all that means those who haven't saved will take the money of those who did save big government there you go yeah most people in today's world don't know how to save money they waste their that should be t-h-e-i-r their money on buying tutors alden's great american made shoes yeah, I think Alden. Yeah, I think that's a good move. Um, they have some nice uh, dress shoes. I like the uh, Church's shoes that I bought years ago. Now, Church's was bought out by Prada, I think, in around 2002 or three or something like that. And I don't know if their quality is as good as it used to be either. Um, I'm just glad I got all my clothes back in the day when they were really high quality. Uh, I didn't have to worry about this stuff. But now, you guys, you got to worry about this stuff because a lot of these brands are, are whoring out their name. Uh, I, think all me I think it's all media hype. These workers have been through shutdowns before. It's nothing new. Yeah, but a lot of them, I think, are living paycheck to paycheck. I, I absolutely believe they are. A lot of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Shutdown's over, Craig. Get up on the news. Well, there you go. I heard about that deal. Um, should I buy a new GS9F GMT in blue to complement it? Don't need a dress watch. Well, if you get a GS9F uh, GMT, um, I would sell the Explorer. I wouldn't keep both. Um, Nordstrom, too, used to be better. Yeah, Nordstrom, I used to get a lot of good stuff at Nordstrom. A lot of their shirts were made in the USA. I don't think so anymore. You almost got to buy Kenneth Gordon shirts or um, Gitman Brothers shirts, you know, to get made in the USA anymore. Um, uh, Craig, is Clivester joining live later? I don't know. I invited him, but I haven't heard from him. I used to work at an airport. All the TSA put everything on credit. Um, $1,000 a week, that's just under what I make. Well, get, get busy, man. Get busy. Um, GM is laying people off from three plants, one of them in Maryland, north of Baltimore. Well, there you go. Craig, would you ever consider permanently residing in Maryland? No. No, I don't think so. Um, would you buy a yacht if you spend more time? No, I'm not a, a yachting person, a out on the water person. I don't really 
enjoy it that much. I don't want to get a lot of sun. I've already got this sunspot on my chin here and other sun damage. I, I get enough sun being out playing tennis and stuff like that. I don't need to be out on a boat and be baking out there. So, no. Um, most designer clothes are now made in China. Yeah, I'd pass on all of that. Of course, I didn't buy, like, designer stuff ever. I bought always very conservative stuff. As you can see by the jacket I'm wearing. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, uh, why do you cavort with a watch junkie like Cliver's? Cliver's a good guy. I like Cliver's. I'm trying to help him out. I told him to get rid of a lot of those watches and get down to one or two stunners. I'm trying to work him in that direction. Uh, the diameter of your wrist is more important than the circumference of your wrist. My wrist is 6.5 inches, but flat. My 44 mil GS fits well. Well, there you go. Um, and if you have the titanium one, that helps a lot because it's lightweight and because of the, the shape of the lugs and all that, they wear smaller than... than um, in a 44. They wear more like a 40, if you ask me, if they're titanium. Um, let's see here. I'm sorry. I meant permanently residing in Florida. Um, not in the hottest months. I wouldn't be down there in like May, June, July, August, September. I definitely would not be there those five months. Craig, would you move to California? No, I don't like real dry areas like that. Um, so, no, I'm kind of an East Coast kind of guy. One week salary for a watch, gross or net? I mean, you'd be the judge, but I would say gross for sure would be the max, max. Um, in your opinion, do you think Rolex will come out with an updated two-tone yellow gold yacht master? Thanks. I don't, I have no idea. I doubt it. Harris Tweed is quality. Yeah, I hope Harris Tweed is still maintaining their standards. Um, they always did maintain pretty high standards. Uh, so if you got something that had that Harris Tweed label with the serial number and everything on it, you were good to go. So yeah, hopefully they're still doing that. And I liked, I always liked to get Harris Tweed stuff that was either tailored in the U.S. or England Usually one of those two places. Um, too many bugs in Florida. Not in the wintertime. I don't have any bug problem at all from like November, December, January, February, March. Those months, at least where I stay in Sarasota, we don't have any bug problem at all. Um, so it all depends on when you're there. California is accessible. Well, there you go. GS is GS, not just titanium. Mine is. Okay. Well, my diver is. My, my stunner here is 18 karat gold. Um, if you like to be steam cooked, then Florida is your place to be. Not in the wintertime. It's beautiful there in the winter. Usually about 65, 70 degrees. I mean, it's just freaking ideal. Um, so I guess you haven't been down there in the wintertime. Okay, so um, I'm trying to think what else. I think we touched on the issue. Let me cut one more time to that that stunner, that spring drive stunner. Okay, how amazing is that puppy? All right, and then let's go to that side view. I got a flashlight pointing on it to give it that extra lighting so you can see that... Uh, signed dial unfortunately the the color the white balance is off on it but I, I should have fixed that but anyway it is what it is um let's see my dad's side side of the family is mostly in southern florida and it's hot most of the year nice there in the winter that's what i'm talking about that's when you want to be there is in the winter uh November, December, January, February, even March is fine. If you're in southern Florida, you're, you should be fine. Having a dilemma over here, buy a Rolex or night vision goggles. <laughs> Any advice? 
Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. You should move down south where we're all friendly down here. I guess he meant we are all friendly down here and say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir, and love our college football. There you go. Florida is God's waiting room. <laughs> okay. Be honest. Do you like black booty? Are you into black women? Um, I, it's hard to say. Um, why are you an East Coast person but go to the West Coast side of Florida? Well, I like Sarasota. I mean, Sarasota is beautiful. So um, when I said West Coast, I meant all the way out to California, over the, where it's real dry. It's, it's real dry out west. So that's why there are those fires and all that stuff. It's not good. Um, so, Craig, you got two GS stunners. No need for Rolex. That's correct. No need for Rolex. Just got a Speedy reduced for 1300 should I sell it now or wait? Well, sell sell anything you can get out of. If you can get out of those those watches now, I'd get out while the getting is good. Recommend recommend a watch to complement Explore One Thirty Six Mil. That's not a dress watch. Why do you need a watch to complement that? That's a great wear all the time, do anything watch. You, it's very versatile. I don't, I don't understand what why you think you need another watch. Um, okay, would you all please try to keep this civil? Talking about booty in my chat. Go go on some other channel and, and troll with that kind of stuff. Or you will get blocked, okay? We, we, this is a family-friendly channel. Um, Craig, is there more than one Frederick in the U.S.? There are a bunch of Frederick counties. Uh, this is a Fred this is Frederick County, Maryland, and the city is City of Frederick. So the major city here in the county is Frederick, and then the county is Frederick. So that's why it's good to have Frederick.com. Um, would you buy a Spring Drive 18K GS with a bracelet if they made one? It depends on the model. Yeah, I would absolutely consider that. Craig, is there more than one? Oh, I already answered that. Um, what do you think of Tampa or Fort Myers? I would pass on those two areas. I would go with Sarasota or Naples. Um, there's not enough space and food in Florida. Uh, there's plenty of space where I go. Love Anna Maria Island. Okay. If you were to buy non-Grand Seiko, what would it be? Oh, probably Rolex. Rolex or an Omega have a 36 mil day chest and just sold my GS the same as your gold one but steel with the bracelet as I couldn't justify keeping both okay uh, what's the best poor man watch get an Apple watch they're fairly affordable if you if, if you're really poor no watch but but just no watch at all that'd be the best bet just don't buy a watch Mm. Man, that well water. We got well water here. It's really good. Have you traveled in Asia much? No, I have not. Furthest around that direction I've gotten is Italy. Um, Florida is not the greatest place to live if you have to stay all year. If you have the means to come and go, it's great. But the cost of living is high. Crime rate is high. Sarasota today is 48 to 63. There's no real crime problem in Sarasota. I haven't had any problem at all with crime there. Um, and cost of living, it's not that much different than where I am here in Maryland. It's about the same. So, um, yeah, it's an affluent area. I mean, you know, obviously. But uh, it's not insanely expensive. It's not like San Francisco expensive. Um, let's see here. Uh, GSGMT should change its rotating bezel so it's reflective uh, that becomes totally unreadable. Okay. Well, the space issue is significant for Fed since he's in Miami. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in Miami. 
Craig, are you going to do a show with Steve again? That was a good show you guys did. Steve's getting set up. Hopefully, in a couple weeks, he's going to be doing some shows. Yes. We're trying to get him organized to do some shows. So we're working on it. He doesn't move as fast as, as you youngsters. He, he takes his time, but hopefully it'll, he'll do it right. What's the best value GS watch? A 9F, something like this is, whoops. This was a good value, I think. I think I paid around 3200 for an 18 karat gold stunner. Are you kidding me? That's pretty good. Um, they get, there's a lot of good values in a GS. So you have to probably go with a 9F movement to, to really get a good value. How do you avoid the beggars in front of the grocery store? There aren't any at the grocery store that I go to. Uh, where in Italy did you go? I toured all up and down um, Italy. Uh, there's some photos on my Flickr. Go to my Flickr and search. You'll see a bunch of photos uh, from Italy. Um, I think uh, TVG fan 1997 comment meant that he is fat and eats too much. Okay, would you live in... Australia. I don't know. It depends on what it's like. I don't know what it's like. Why is Sarah? That's why Sarasota rocks during the season. Oh, Sarasota is great. Great place. We get that TGV. Okay. What? Um, if you could have one GS. If you have one GS Snowflake or GS Diver. Um, hmm. If I had to wear it all the time for dress and sport i guess i'd have to get the snowflake because the diver i couldn't wear under this cuff i could i could push it with the snowflake i could make that work but i'd rather have a dedicated dress watch like this really i mean that's really the best solution because i can wear this anytime i want i could take it off for a week it's still running because it's a 9f it's dead accurate it's absolutely stunning gorgeous um, so I think I've got the best solution right now with my two watch rotation. Um, what other hobbies do you have other than watches, money and clothes? Um, tennis, of course. I also play volleyball. Um, I try to exercise a fair amount. Of course, I'm into photography. Um, beautiful women. Um, I, I, that's, that's enough. That's enough to keep me busy. San Francisco isn't wonderful. Million dollars for a subpar house. People sleeping in tents on the streets and terrible crime problem. Bay Area traffic is the worst in the country. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to live there. Is Air Dweller White Gold a, recommend, a recommended watch to get? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'd probably pass on it, though, just from the sound of it. Don't forget <laughs> poop on the sidewalk. Air Dweller. <laughs> Sky Dweller, okay. Yeah, Sky Dweller. I'd rather just get a day date. Um, Craig, which is better, Maryland or Pennsylvania? I probably would go with Maryland. It depends on where in Maryland, though. I, you know, I wouldn't go to Baltimore. But where I am in the middle part of the state, in Frederick County, it's absolutely gorgeous here. Um, have you tried a crew of hats? No, I haven't, but I've heard that they do have some good hats. I fortunately have a have plenty of hats that are really high quality that were made back in the day when they had a lot of beaver in them and that's kind of hard to get anymore you got you got to really look um so i've got some hats that probably could almost not even be reproduced today um at any price so um you almost have to go vintage did clive sell all his watches i don't think yet i love rolex uh okay I have a Canon T6 Rebel, decent camera for someone starting out this lot. Yeah, I would get a uh, fast 50 lens for that, a 50 millimeter, f1.8 or f1.4 if you can afford it. But I'd get what's called a fast 50, 50 millimeter, and shoot that puppy wide open. You can shoot some nice portraits of people with that rig. Um, heard Tan and Arch kissed and make up. Uh, what's wrong with Baltimore? <laughs> what's right with Baltimore? All right, well, I think we're going to wrap this broadcast. I'm going to get something to eat here. Um, let's see, my other, my other hobby being firearms and things related to that, I'm considering investing 
and that instead of a watch right now, considering the political climate. Again, I, I wouldn't call firearms a good investment. It's always good to have your security taken care of, but I wouldn't count them as investments. Um, I went to college in Baltimore. It's one of the worst cities in the USA. There are nice places in Baltimore County, but not in the city. Um, Baltimore is East Detroit. <laughs> If there was a 38 mil 9F or spring drive sporty dress titanium Grand Seiko with loom tans, black dial and titanium with an adjustable basic, well, yeah, if, 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 <laughs> that's the problem is nobody, I don't know why these manufacturers, including Rolex, why they don't want to make the perfect watch. I could tell them very quickly what to make, right? That would be the perfect watch, but none of them will make it. It wouldn't be that difficult. It would not be that difficult, but they won't make it. Um, Boston is a great city. Whether it's not, yeah, I would pass on Boston. Thanks, Craig. There you go. Thanks, Craig. There you go. All right, everybody. Um, hey, have a great weekend. If I don't do another broadcast, I might do one this weekend, um, but we'll see. But uh, if I don't, have a great one and get rid, liquidate those Rolexes. Sell, sell, sell. That's my advice. Sell. Sell while the selling is good. <laughs>